Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we are watching What If. I believe this is What If Episode 7. What if Thor were an only child? I think that with the What If episodes, we get some that are like pretty interesting premises and then some that are like just fun, like What If Zombies. I think this one might fall into the just fun category. So I'm looking forward to it for that. This whole series has been uh, really interesting, really entertaining. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Jen, how are you feeling going into this one? I do agree with you, um, but for me, I think there are episodes that are meant to be taken a little more seriously, and I think that this one is gonna fall into that category. Really? Is this implying there's no Loki? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's a bummer, because I love Loki. What if always comes out at the end with some really, really good material, so I'm absolutely not discounting that it's gonna be good. I'm really, really excited to see this. The series has been so good so far, and that has surprised me because it's animated, and I just didn't think I was gonna be as into it as I am. So, really good stuff so far. Anxious to see what this episode's about. Yeah, this could very well fit into the more serious category. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Today, comment of the day comes from MugChick03. Oh, sir, she called you by your full government name. She is done with your side camera looks. Because I always get those little looks into the camera when we're watching a movie when she doesn't know what's going on. But I do. So when she says my full name, that's how you know I'm in trouble. Thank you so much for the comment of the day. If you want to get your comment in a video, leave a comment down below and hopefully we'll get to pick yours for an upcoming video. For now, let's go ahead and just get into it. What if, episode seven. <gasps> so you can get to see some artifacts. All right, yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to talk about that. We're gonna go to a Marvel exhibit in Chicago. I was gonna surprise Holden with it, but I had to tell him, so. We're gonna see the Black Panther's actual suit and stuff. The Creeper Returns. Yep. He's getting creepier every single day. He's getting like more prominent, for sure. Yeah. Parks Department, but isn't there something <laughs> we can do? <laughs> Prepare yourselves for the party prince. I mean. So it's like, what if Odin didn't actually take Loki? Their childhood taught Thor many lessons. Without his trickster brother to keep things lively, Thor grew into a very different prince. <laughs> Heimdall will be watching. <laughs> Wait, what? Did the opening credits say Chris Hemsworth? I don't think so. It sounds a lot like him. Though. Yeah, it may be him. I don't remember seeing it. Looks like a loser. Big talk coming from a brunette. Jeez. And you two. Oh, you guys really get me. So tiny, I almost stood on you. How are you? I'm Dr. Jane Foster. Topaz, what do I always say? I love cake. I don't know how to bring the thunder. Uh, wow. Okay. You killed a planet. Oh, what is that light box thing you've got there? <laughs> it's like watching the birth of two stars on the edge of the galaxy. Oh. <laughs> this is not a date. So let's just see where this evolves. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's for sure gonna get some action tonight. Wow. Release the phone. Blow on these. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the Thor just like go around and just collect people throughout the galaxy to party. Yes. Can this wait until after breakfast? Do you want to know why I am the acting director? Oh, oh geez. Do you have company, Dr. Foster? Uh, a <laughs> uh, friend. Director, uh, the party atmosphere seems to be spreading. Is Pepper that our guy? Yeah, that's Colson. Did he even leave a note? I pumped and dumped. Sorry. Hold it, Thomas Harden. <laughs> I use my full government name again. While well, you were in trouble. <laughs> Beeper? My dad has one. He's a podiatrist. It's done. Waffles. I love that word. Waffles. Waffles. Mmm. But ugly popsicle stick. <laughs> popsicle stick. Ah, bring it on in. I can't yeah. believe you came. Brother from another mother, man. I mean that. I never boom. I'm boom in private. Oh, whoa, whoa. I wish I France. Hey, white snake. We need to chat. The name. Wow. Quite some party you're throwing. Isn't it the best? 
clean up this mess and leave this planet. What? No, I like it here. Uh, how about you just buzz off? <laughs> Oof. Appropriate. We're gonna get a Thor versus Captain Marvel. There's a Midgardian word for women like you. Party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Now for the rest of you. <laughs> Smooth move, bro. You just oh. You want me to put the hammer down? Wow, that's a convenient landing right there. Hey, quit it. These are. I don't know what these are. No one does. Go. <laughs> no one does. I still can't get over the science tattoo. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> How they're literally being punched from continent to continent. Mm -hmm. I like this. This is awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not, the hair. Not the hair. He really does look like a Ken doll. You know what you need? A stiff drink. A timeout. I mean, they could be calling her worse. Yeah. Is your ego writing checks so that your skills can't cash? No. Yes. <laughs> well, she pretty much beat Thor there. Right now, you're running at an eight, and I need you to take it down to a four. <laughs> Love you. I mean, Oh, wow. I... Whoopsie. I buzzed him. I haven't got a friend, have you? You know, we could double date. Oh. Yeah. Well, you, just... you know, I've got a crown, too. <laughs> 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 Pointy thing. <laughs> the order of the Navy. <laughs> it's good to see him. Yeah. I actually felt that one. Arm the nukes. What? But I thought she was the nuke. Fire in. They're five. literally firing nukes. I gave you a warning. He's in trouble. What about Captain Marvel? She'll be fine. Why? <laughs> Crown Prince of Asgard, only son of Odin. What are you doing? Oh, that's dirty. She called the parentals on him. I know. Obviously in my room studying. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally every time we talk to Savannah. I know. <laughs> you coming here? Uh, we never get to fire the nukes. <laughs> I almost feel bad for you, Blondie. Start in the corners, clean your way outward. It's a sphere. We're about to make this universe's greatest slingshot. <laughs> My mother is coming. Iceman, let's bounce. <laughs> we need to clean up. Look wow. who's pooping the party now. We're keeping the scoot scoots. Guys, please. The scoot scoots. I think I hear my dad <laughs> My mother is coming. <laughs> really mad. <laughs> See you. Welcome to our study group. Did you know that Midgard is the birthplace of the Snuggie? <laughs> no way. Here's the information you requested on human civilizations. So tiny, yet contains so, so much. Thank you for helping educate my son. Ah! Uh, I can explain. <laughs> You called my mother on me. That wasn't the cool thing to do, but it was. <laughs> I thought we had something. It would be my honor to take you on a date. Pick me up at eight. They lived happily ever after. Wait, what? Huh? Perhaps I spoke too soon. Was that the Infinity Stones? Ultron? No? No, who is that? D uh. No, it couldn't be. It kind of looked like Vision because he had the. the... thing on top? I'm sure they'll let us know who it is. With the exception of what just happened there, that seemed like it's a better universe. Just finished What If? This one was kind of a fun episode, I think. I really enjoyed seeing Captain Marvel and Thor go at it with one another. I can see this episode causing problems among the fandoms, though, because there's still, I think, this residual dislike of Captain Marvel. 
uh, from when the movie came out. So they seem to make her the superior one in this. She's like, well, I'm holding back. If I were to really go for it, I would destroy, you know, it'd be like a nuclear bomb or whatever, send nuclear bombs. And it seemed like she had bested Thor. So I bet that that's not gonna go over well with everybody. But for me, uh, I like seeing them fight each other. I think that that was really, really fun. The idea of Thor being the sort of frat boy party guy, I guess would make sense with his personality, I suppose. So yeah, I thought this was a fun one. What did you think? It wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite. As far as tone goes, Holden was right. It was it was very, very light. It felt very, very light. Definitely more so than all the other episodes that we've seen. I really enjoyed the fight scenes between Captain Marvel and Thor. I'm not sure about Thor being like this party guy. It was a little strange. I'm definitely open to the whole what if theory or scenario. So I'll roll with it. It was definitely different from how I'm used to seeing him. I liked the fight scenes. I also liked seeing just little appearances by some of our favorite characters. Like you had Nebula, you had Mantis. I saw her. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Loki was in it, which I did not think he was going to be. So I loved seeing him. That was a lot of fun. Jane also played a pretty big role in this episode. Equal to Captain Marvel. Again, very, very light, except for that it was the post credit scene. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I am so, my brain is like just turning. I, I felt like it was vision like vision in some sort of machine outer layer. I could see the the Mind Stone, which correct me if I'm wrong, it, that was the only like character that's ever had the Mind Stone there. As far as we've seen, yeah. I don't know, that's just my theory, but it was, it was obviously very, very quick, so I can't tell for sure, but that's just my theory, which would be very confusing to me. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a fun episode, I can't hate on it. Thor, I mean, I love Thor. So uh, no matter how he's portrayed, it was definitely uh, interesting to see him in this light. So yeah, it was a good episode. Marvel's in this unique situation where they can give us episodes like the Doctor Strange episode, these really like dark, joyless endings, you know, these tragic endings, really like heartstring moments, but also be able to give episodes like this, these sort of silly, ridiculous, Howard the Duck type of episodes, and it makes sense in the continuity of the universe. I think that's a pretty unique situation to be in for a franchise, but they do it so well. So this one was fun, I really enjoyed it. As far as the, I guess it wasn't technically the end credits, it was just, you know, the end. As far as it being Vision, it, it kind of, to me, the shadow looked like Ultron initially, and then, you know, it opened up and there was Vision, which would kind of make sense because Ultron was gonna go into Vision's body initially, that was the plan. So maybe something happened with that. But Tony Stark and Bruce Banner were the ones that built Ultron and Vision. And that took place quite a bit later than this. So I don't know how that would work. It looked like they had all of the Infinity Stones. So I, I don't know who that is. I'm sure somebody is gonna give us a good theory as to who it is. Is it Vision? You know, they came through like a portal or something. Maybe they're time travel Vision or something. I don't know. There's a lot of speculation that there's going to be a buildup of some of the other What If episodes into one. So that I guess is our first real like indicator of, oh, we're ending here, so you'll have to stick around to see what happens next. So I'm excited for more. I also agree with you on Marvel has done a great job at being able to balance, you know, episodes where it's so dark. I mean, the episode with Doctor Strange was just throughout, it was dark. There were really no light moments. They can go from an episode like that to, you know, an episode like this, where it's just very, very light and it works. I like all the episodes. I've liked every single episode, obviously to varying degree, but I like them. I think that they're doing a really great job of it. I don't know if it's just because it's Marvel, but I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. That's it for our discussion of Marvel's What If Episode 7. Jeremy and I are gonna do a longer discussion over on his channel. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have a link in the description and a pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out a lot. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more fun content like this. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos and other fun stuff. As always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.